Well, a lot of people are still left scratching their heads after a photo went viral in the last couple of weeks of a very young 14 or 15 year old Jerry Jones, clear as day, standing on the other side of a segregated photo in which there are black people trying to get inside of a school. And there is Jerry Jones alongside a lot of other white people. There are clear as day not allowing the black people inside of said school. Jerry did comment on this when it was a little dismissive in my opinion, but he said, I don't know that I or anybody anticipated or had a background of knowing what was involved. It was more of a curious thing. Jerry Jones is now 80 years of age. So Jerry didn't give much of a statement, but he did have some support from none other than ESPN's own Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. went on first take and said this following this news story breaking from the Washington Post. He said, I'm pretty pissed off. I'm pissed off, but not for reasons that people would think. I am very, very fond of Jerry Jones, and I'm not hiding that from anybody. Is his record perfect? No. But I'm pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. He doesn't deserve it. One report, our report said he was 14 years old. Another report said he was 15 years old. At a minimum, that was 65 years ago. You're going to bring up a photo of him when he was 14, 15 years old old 65 or 66 years ago this is where cancer culture gets into the mix you're making an attempt to eradicate him what he stands for and all he has done so following this comment from Stephen a another espn employee play-by-play guy mark jones he liked a tweet he ended up unliking his tweet from a bishop tabard swan in which it shows uh, dancing raccoons to describe Stephen A. Smith defense of uh, the Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones. Again, Mark Jones did unlike the tweet, but it's clear as day his messaging was there in, so, uh, in, in support of uh, calling Stephen A. a coon. Stephen A. went on his podcast. He didn't call Mark Jones out by name, but it was clear as day he was responding to Mark's like and then unlike of a tweet about him. He said, one can only be called a sellout and a coon and all of this other stuff but so much before you feel compelled to respond, particularly when you are a black man. Y'all want to attack everybody. Why don't we listen to one another? I'm not friends with Candace Owens. I never met her a day in my life. But if you disagree with something she said, tell us what it is and why rather than saying she's a sellout, that's easy. Why? Let's educate ourselves. Why would you think that? Why? Argue her facts. You want to criticize me and what my positions are. I'm good with that. Y'all tell me why. If you are right, I'll say so. You know how hard it is for me to listen to people that have worked in this industry for years with the stuff that I know about them, listening to them talking nonsense about me? They ain't do a damn thing to help our community. I put my career on the line every day, fighting for us, and we are going to go out like that because I don't agree with y'all position on a still photo from 66 years ago? Really? We better wake up, y'all. So this one hits close to home to me for two different reasons, all right? First off, let me say this about... Stephen A defending Jerry Jones. I want to get this out the way first. I thought Stephen A went a little too far. It's like, yo, Stephen A, why, why would you go just out of the blue defend Jerry? He went crazy defending Jerry Jones. Now, they got a little bit of a relationship. Um, I saw, I think Jerry Jones had Stephen A in like a helicopter for an interview or something. Like, clear as day, we know Stephen A does the, the anti-Dallas Cowboy thing. But I think it's all in good fun. It's great branding. I think him and Jerry Jones actually got like a relationship. They're, they're fond of each other. Right. So Jerry Jones and Stephen, they got a personal thing. Right. But this this one hits home for me for a couple of reasons. I had the opportunity to work with Stephen. A. have told you all this many times on my platform for a short stint. And I also had the opportunity to be around Mark Jones, two different capacities. Stephen A. Smith, I was at ESPN with interning Mark Jones when I was just trying to learn the ropes when I was a collegiate student at Tennessee. Mark Jones would cover a decent amount of Tennessee games on any given Wednesday night, Friday night, ESPN games. I think maybe even an SEC Network game or two. So I had access to the court. I was on the court filming the games for Tennessee uh, basketball. Mark Jones would be accessible. I could get to him, right? I could get to him and talk to him. The irony in Mark Jones calling or liking a tweet that called Stephen A. Smith a coon is this. And this doesn't mean anything about Mark Jones' character. But I just think it's ironic. Every time I tried to walk up to Mark Jones and speak to him, I'm talking about multiple attempts, he always shooed me away. Always. 
I'm not, y'all know, I'm, I don't have a stake in this fight. I don't work at ESPN currently. I don't get money with Mark Jones, and I don't get money with Stephen A. Smith. I'm telling y'all my truth. Every time I walked up to Mark Jones, to be fair to the brother, it would usually be like halftime during games. Maybe the brother was just busy. He was at work. Every time, though, I walked up to him to just try to pick his mind a little bit. I'm young. I'm trying to – I'm a hustler. I'm trying to get it. Any means necessary, right? Every time I walked up to Mark Jones, he would literally give me the get-out-of-my-face syndrome. Every time. Stephen A. Smith, when I was an intern at ESPN in uh, Connecticut, they, he's, they're no longer stationed in Bristol, Stephen A., the biggest employee at ESPN, like the biggest talent, and you feel it when he's in the room. Like he's a big deal. And he's also a fairly tall guy. Stephen A.'s like 6'3", 6'4". So you feel his presence in the room. He's usually on the phone going around the campus, right? Stephen A. would come to me. He didn't really even know my name. He used to call me Alfonso. I'm not lying to y'all. He used to call me Antonio and Alfonso. Those were my names. It's like, all right, Stephen A. Smith talking to me. I don't care what the dude called me. It's Stephen A. Smith. He would literally walk up to me. I was 21, 22 at the time. All the time. How they treating you. They treating you right? Okay, if you ever have a problem, you let me know. Because I don't play that about my young black brother. I'm not lying to y'all. He would come up to me. He ain't had to do that. So let me be clear with y'all. Let me make myself clear because this is personal to me. Mark Jones don't get to tell me nothing about Stephen A. Smith. Now, I am critical of Stephen A. Smith away from Mark Jones, but I know it's got to be frustrating for a guy like Stephen A. Smith to hear out of all people, Mark Jones calling him out, calling him a coon. That's a harsh thing to put on Stephen A. I'm just telling y'all, again, I don't know either of them gentlemen personally. I, I, I haven't talked to Stephen A in years, right? I was just an intern at ESPN. I'm telling you the brother went out of his way to make sure I was comfortable at that place. That's my personal story. Mark Jones did not do that. Two different work settings. Mark Jones was in the middle of like two and a half hour broadcast. Maybe he was just catching them at bad times, right? But I get why Stephen A's upset about that part of it. Now, I did feel like he went out of the way to defend Jerry Jones. And I was like, Stephen A, you going to go off the ledge right now for, for Jerry Jones? Like, he need to defend himself as, as get you somebody that defends your honor like Stephen A defends Jerry Jones. That's love. I right? get you somebody that hates on, this is real love, right? This is kind of crazy. Stephen A goes on ESPN programming and hates on or tells the truth, depending on what side of the ledge you are with the Dallas Cowboys. He goes on that camera and hates on the Dallas Cowboys at least once a day during football season, but then goes out of his way to defend Jerry Jones. That's real love right there. If I can hate on your profession but still defend you, I love you. And you need to find that type of love in your life. <laughs> I can hate on what you, what you represent but still defend you. Because like it's almost like brother love, right? Like, I could talk about you, but nobody else can talk about you. I thought he went a little too far defending Jerry Jones. That was my stance personally, and it's just a bad setup. You knew that wasn't going to be received well publicly, but, hey, clear as day, Stephen A was riding for his mans. I thought he went too far, but I know it's got to hurt seeing all of the, the criticism and critiques that he gets from his coworkers. And, and, and I've heard things, too. I'll just say that about some of these employees that have gotten passes, not just at ESPN, a lot of places in that sport. I'm talking about nasty stuff in the business. That's one of the reasons why I think ESPN does a great job of trying to change the narrative, right? Like one of the first things when I was working at ESPN was they preached diversity, but really preached it though, you know, and preached openness and honesty and stuff like that. Cause man, there are a lot of nasty sports stories in that business. Uh, a lot of stories a lot of stories. I'll just say that about people who have done not half of what Stephen A has done for, for the business, you know? So y'all let me know what y'all think about Stephen A Smith going off on his podcast, following a light tweet from his coworker, Mark Jones. Woo, man. What, what type of employee love is that? I'm out.